Hi, this is Jeff Geske. I'm a fellow at the Mayo Clinic. I'm here with Dr. Hamill. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Jeff. Dr. Hamill is an emeritus professor here at Mayo Clinic, a former president of the Heart Rhythm Society, as well as one of the organizers of the ECG component of the Mayo CV Board Review. Right. Dr. Hamill, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started teaching ECGs to, to trainees? Yeah, it was a process that started in the early 80s. So we were looking at our board results, and we saw that some of our best fellows weren't doing well on the ECG portion of the boards. And of course, if you don't pass that section, you don't pass the, the board. So there was a lot of concern at the faculty and fellow level. So a group of fellows, and James O'Keefe was one of them, um, worked with me in sort of the mid to late 80s. And we put together some teaching ECGs. We'd go over five uh, on a weekend each weekend and review the ECG using the ABIM form, the ABIM form so that we'd get, they would get used to how to code on that form. And then we also put together a book that contained the criteria. So they would be using common constant criteria. And continued that for probably 40 weeks each year. Uh, and after doing that kind of a process, the fellows were acing the ECG session, so we knew it was a winner. And then when uh, James O'Keefe left and went into practice finishing his fellowship, uh, he started to put together a book, and then that book evolved. So this teaching process uh, it has proven to be an effective one because what we do is each year when the boards are done, we talk with the fellows, see how they did on the boards and get an idea of what kind of questions were being asked, make sure we're covering everything, make sure there was nothing uh, different appearing and sort of some clues as to how to do well on the boards. And we gain those from a lot of feedback with the fellows. Great. Can you tell me a little bit about ECG interpretation and its role in the, in the current board system? Well, the ECGs are a big part of the boards. so. Uh, right now, they're, they're half of the second day, and if you don't pass that day, so ECG portion of it, you won't pass the boards. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an important aspect of the examination. Great. And with that in mind, what, what tools are out there to have fellows prepare for that section of the boards? Well, we published this textbook, which is, has three editions out, and we're completing a fourth edition now. It should be out, we're aiming for the September time frame. Uh, the textbook helps um, to, to just go through many, many, a hundred ECGs. So you go through the ECGs, learn how to use them, learn how to use the ABIM form and the criteria, and we keep updating the criteria each time and our recommendations, again based on the feedback of fellows who have gone through and been successful on the boards. But the ECG teaching modules, which we're adding now to the board examination, or the board review course, I think is just a terrific idea. So with the teaching modules, the people using those will go through the ECGs as they do with, with the textbook, code them, and then I will review the answers and have some discussion of why certain codes are good, why certain codes are over-diagnosing, uh, some, some that are redundant. But the nice added wrinkle to this is it's computer-based because the ABIM test now is computer-based. And one of the challenges is using that computer system to figure out where the diagnoses are on the, on the scoring system that they have and that can take time and when you're when you only have three minutes per ECG you don't want to waste time figuring out how to use the system so the combination of learning the ECGs getting some feedback on what your coding errors were if there were errors and how to use the module I think is extremely helpful with that and the module will have uh, 45 ECGs 15 in each of three different sessions and then the textbook has another 100 ECGs. 
Fantastic. Those sound like really great resources for fellows like myself as we prepare for the boards. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks so much for joining us. I Andrew. hope we can sit here next year and congratulate you on passing the boards. Very good. <laughs> Thanks.